Is it possible to predict the size of someone's penis from looking at their nose? You're in the right place because science has just uncovered exciting new data linking nose size to penis size. But there is a catch. It only applies to certain men. Want to know if your face reveals more than you think? Stay tuned for the full story and a hands-on tutorial at the end. I'm Dr. Stefan Bundrock, a board-certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Some of you may have watched other videos about penis size on this channel. So you know that there is a correlation between the ratio of your second and fourth finger and penis size. It has to do with pre-birth exposure to testosterone. You know, testosterone defines whether we develop into a boy or a girl and testosterone is present even before we are born, between weeks 10 to 15 to be precise. This first surge of testosterone is crucial for any further development as it sets the tone for what is going to happen later. The same applies to the size of nose. Men have a 10% larger nose than women. So could a large nose predict penile size? So far, we didn't have conclusive research to support that hypothesis. But now we have two studies. One included 1,160 patients at a urology unit. The other one was a cadaver study on 126 corpses. Both studies looked at flaccid and stretched penile length in relation to nose size. Yes, they also examined stretched length in the cadavers. Both studies revealed the same conclusion. The larger the nose, the larger the penis. This was true for both length and girth in the study of living men and for penile length only in the other study. Now, before I tell you if your nose will predict the size of your penis, you will have to keep in mind that we are talking about correlations. Before dismissing this as nonsense, let's dive into the facts. A scientific correlation is when two things seem to change together in a consistent way. It could be that as one thing decreases or increases, the other tends to do the same. However, it doesn't necessarily mean one causes the other. They just happen to move in a related pattern. Depending on how closely related these changes are, we are talking about a weak or a strong correlation. Just look at these graphs. Each dot represents a measurement. On top you see penile length and down here penile girth is depicted and related to nose volume. As you can see, we have a medium correlation. The line results from calculating the underlying correlation among the two variables. So if your nose and penis size don't correlate well, remember these graphs. You may be one of the dots which are far away from that line. And by the way, this is also true for digit ratio. I've received countless comments accusing me of being a liar and that all of this is not true. But it is. Only that it is a correlation. So now, whom does this apply to? The large study was from Korea and the cadaver study was from Japan. I mean, in principle, testosterone works the same worldwide. So it shouldn't make a difference in other countries. However, while testosterone works similarly across all men, there may be variations in facial features across ethnic groups. So unless you're from Korea or Japan, it's uncertain if these findings can be universally applied. If you want to measure your nose, this is how you do it. To measure the volume of your nose at home, you can approximate its shape as a pyramid and use basic measurements of length, width and height. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you do it. First, selecting the right tool. You'll need a flexible tape measure for more accurate measurements since it can easily follow the curves of your nose. If you don't have a flexible tape measurement, a rigid ruler can work for straighter parts, but flexibility will give better results. Second, measuring the length. To measure the length of your nose, place the tape measure at the top of your nose bridge, where it meets the forehead, and extend it down to the tip of your nose. This gives you the length. Third, measuring the width. Next, measure the width of your nose at its widest point, typically across the nostrils. Place the tape measure horizontally across the base of your nose to get the width. 
Fourth, measuring the height. Now measure the height by holding the ruler perpendicular to your face, starting at the base of your nose, where it connects to your face, and measuring vertically to the tip of your nose. This gives you the height. Fifth, calculating the volume. Once you have these three measurements, you can estimate the volume of your nose using the pyramid volume formula. Multiply the length, width and height and then divide the result by 3 to get the volume in cubic centimeters if you measured in centimeters. Example, if the length of your nose is 5 centimeters, the width is 3 centimeters and the height is 2.5 centimeters, the calculation would look like this. Volume equals 1 third times 5 times 3 times 2.5 equals 12.5 cubic centimeters. This method provides a fun and easy way to estimate your nose's volume at home with just a few basic measurements. Now you will only have to measure your penis. This video will tell you exactly how. If you want to know how you compare to your fellow countrymen based on your measurements or even to the world, this playlist has become quite comprehensive during the years. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.